my first book, The Death and Life of Great American Cities, I was pretty outraged at what city planners and designers and architects and the politicians who and the developers who supported all these ideas were doing. I thought they were killing cities. They were very rigid regimentations. Residents should be separated from working places, services and retail things that the population depended upon should be condensed into shopping malls. It was all boring, repetitious, and as far as I could see, it didn't work. So I thought cities have been around a long time. They have worked reasonably well. And especially you can find areas of cities that do work well socially and economically. That's what needs to be studied. That's what needs to be observed. And see what's important, what you want out of housing or what do you want out of shopping? You think how all these things, the housing, the services, where people work, the cultural and institutional things, how they all affect each other, how the parks and the streets affect each other. What people do affects how the streets are used. The streets can't be thought of as just uh, for carrying traffic. They uh, perform many other services. Well, that's the way I was looking at things in um, the death and life of great American cities. 